What do you see out there? The past or the future? Or some fabulous land beyond the maps? I'm interested in the present tonight. The here and the now. The sea of faith was once too at the full. The world which seems to lie before us like a land of dreams has really neither joy nor love nor light nor certitude nor peace nor help for pain. But we are here as on a darkling plain swept with confused alarms of struggle and flight where ignorant armies clash by night. I know that poem. It's an English poem. Yes. It's odd that a Dutchman should be able to quote an English poem. But I got over being surprised at you a long time ago. It's a poem about the sea. I know a great deal about the sea. You love the sea. of the sea. Oceans between us. There's something beyond my understanding, something mystical in the feeling I have for you. I feel as if I'd loved you always, not only in this life, but in lives I've lived before and do not remember. It's as if Everything that happened before I met you didn't happen to me at all, but to someone else. And in a way, that's true. I've changed so since I've known you. I'm not cruel and hateful as I used to be, hurting people because I was so unhappy myself. I know now what destructiveness comes from. It's a lack of love. It's as simple as that. Come and sit beside me. You look at me sometimes with such a strange questioning in your eyes. If it's a question of my love, you have the answer. No one else exists for me. No one ever will. You're so silent. But it isn't easy to find words for big emotions, although I seem to have found them. I've bottled up my emotions for so long I had to speak or explode. You have no idea the things I've imagined myself saying to you. Jeffrey once said that the measure of love is what one is willing to give up for it. It was when Stephen destroyed his car for me. It was a wonderful gesture, but then he took it back. Stephen doesn't realize it, but when he recovered his car, I felt that he'd set me free. And you, what would you give up? I've asked myself that question. Your life, for instance? Would you give up your life? Yes, I would. I'd die for you without the least hesitation. I know that sounds extravagant, but I thought about it and I mean it. I'd give up my life for you. That's the measure of my love. And you, what would you give up? salvation. But it's even more than life. But you said it in the strangest way. You've suddenly put a barrier between us. I... I feel shut out. You've gone away from me somehow. 
afraid you've misunderstood me. And I was wrong to respond even for a moment to, uh, to this shocking confession. We've had a charming friendship, but I do not recall having encouraged you to suppose that it could be anything more. And now you've made him that impossible. This sort of thing disgusts me. You seem to have forgotten that you're engaged to marry Stephen Cameron. What makes you imagine that I'd be willing to betray him? The infection of your treachery? I'm immune to that sort of disease. You say you do not destroy things anymore, but you invite me to join you in destroying him. I find the suggestion detestable, and I despise you for making it. You'll be married on September the 3rd. It's the date also of my departure. I prefer not to see you again in the meantime. If we shouldn't... 